With so much content whizzing around out there, there's only one storytelling platform that helps you keep calm and stay informed and inspired. Flipboard. Flipboard curates the world's stories so you can be smarter in your work, life, and play. Choose from thousands of topics to personalize Flipboard and get the latest stories from the best publishers and experts delivered to you 24-7. When you see stories you want to save or share, tap the plus button to add them to private or public collections. It's that simple. Used by millions of people every day, Flipboard is how people move themselves and the world forward. Get started now at Flipboard.com. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute for March 27th, 2018. In today's episode, Mark Lohr at Shop Talk, business as usual at Walmart. Despite Walmart's disappointing fourth quarter results, Mark Lohr is here to tell you that they're staying the course and that he's not going anywhere anytime soon. Mark Lohr, president and CEO of Walmart e-commerce, and Andy Dunn, founder and CEO of Bonobos and senior vice president of digital consumer brands, took the stage at Shop Talk last Tuesday. They reaffirmed that the company remains committed to operating the Walmart.com and Jet.com platform separately to appeal to different shoppers and will continue to acquire more brands. Since joining Walmart after the $3.3 billion acquisition of Jet.com, their e-commerce sales have skyrocketed. Last fiscal year sales results for the first three quarters were impressive. Sales rose 63%, 60%, and 50% respectively. The sour note was their fourth quarter results showing just a 23% increase. Those numbers cost a 10% drop in Walmart's stock price. Lore told Recode Senior Editor for Commerce, Jason Del Rey on stage in their Shop Talk interview, Q4 was largely planned. We told the street what we'd do in the quarter, and that's exactly what we did. We never give quarterly guidance, and we didn't this time. We felt that reiterating 40% growth in the next year was enough. It obviously wasn't. We have 40% growth planned this year. And in a jab to Amazon, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, he said. That includes free two-day shipping with no membership fee. Del Rey pressed Lore on whether he would remain with the company, asking if he'd still be with Walmart in a year. I absolutely will, Lore answered. It's still early days. It's only been 18 months now since the acquisition. Andy Dunn of Bonobo stated that Jet and Walmart will continue to operate separately, ending rumors of the sites eventually operating under one umbrella. Dunn stated that Walmart and Jet consumers are different types of customers and that Walmart's future acquisitions will be negative digital brands that appeal to younger demographics and live on the Jet site. Dunn continued, the way we're thinking about Jet is around this urban millennial consumer and using these brands to enhance the appeal with that customer. We will be optimistic about acquiring brands in other categories, and some will build ourselves. Lore also repeated his goals to run the Walmart Commerce Unit as a startup to keep things nimble. Not a lot has changed in terms of how we're operating. It still feels like a startup right now. Oh, boy. So, John, you were there. Uh, so, I was at Shop Talk. This was a great uh, little interview. I hand it to uh, Jason Del Rey because he kept pressing Laura, but Laura's a beast and he just he wasn't, <laughs> he pushed back pretty hard. So uh, we, we actually have a little history with uh, Andy and Bonobos. We actually did a little bit of work for them. So I know Andy. Um, I mean, I, we've predicted that, not predicted, but we've been saying for a long time that they're definitely going to keep it se separate. It would make no sense for them to, to make it one giant on the site. It really wouldn't. Um, and I'm sure that that was the thinking originally. Uh, and I'm sure the street wanted to see that because they wanted to see Walmart versus Amazon and they wanted to see the two giants. But this Which makes a lot more sense, uh, especially what Andy had said about uh, the new brands and new acquisitions. If you look at he went through all the brands that they, they had acquired um, and, you know, you're looking now at all's well. That's also um, their, their new mattress brand. That's also aimed towards the millennial crowd. So. Right. I had said this on previous podcasts that the, the Walmart customer and the jet customer are two different, two different breeds. And this just confirms it. Right. But then the, now they can actually grab both, right. Without alienating really either one. And that's um, really, and that's, that's really the point in that you don't want to alienate the Walmart customer because the Walmart customer is your, your middle of the road. They just want the good prices and they don't want to see, yeah. they don't want to see all this fancy highfalutin Johnny millennial crap. And flip it the other way. The millennial crowd, they don't, they don't, they, they want a different, they want a different shopping experience and they want a different type of product. Right. I mean, for me, it's, it's more of like, um, you know, it's silly if they want, you know, the street wants them to combine it. That's just really silly. This way they have 
multiple brands, sure, but I also attack every single version of it, right? From the lowest customer to high-end luxury stuff. And I bet you they'll start buying even more luxurious stuff because yeah, they're just become this whole brand, you know? Right, and it's best of both worlds. And Andy, Andy said, said this, uh, he said it time and again, it's he's going after this, the millennial semi-luxury customer. These people have the deep pockets and it's, right. I think it's the smart way of thinking. And they also want different service, right? Like, it's not going to be a Walmart customer. I mean, there's a stigma for, about it. For good or bad, it doesn't really matter. But, um, you know, somebody that's shopping Mockloff usually won't shop in Walmart, you know what I mean, or any one of those things. So it's a different play, and I understand where they're coming from. Absolutely. And speaking of Mod, Mod Cloth, um, the CEO of Mod Cloth just recently left um, they, they acquired mod cloth last March to, uh, boost their fashion end. But, um, for some reason, uh, Matt has left. So there's news there. <laughs> well, you know, everybody moves around, so it's not a, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. So you know, probably do something go. Yeah. They, they stay till they vest and then they, or they get, they, they, they fulfill whatever needed to be fulfilled and then go either have, you know, martinis on the beach or go do something else. No, Matt will do something else. <laughs> well, you, but you know, there is that certain, that certain person that says, okay, I'm, I'm all done here. I got to go. <laughs> Take my check on the way out. <laughs> peace, peace, peace out. All right. You got anything else to add to this one? Peace out. <laughs> peace out. Peace out. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>